Well, actually, uh, it is very different, very unique, and we're very proud of it. Uh, in the conventional way of making wafers, you start with a big block of silicon, and then you slice small wafers from that big block. That process, you use about half the silicon as kerf loss, like silicon saw does. We have a completely different process. We take small pieces of silicon, put it into our uniquely designed furnace, and we liquefy it at 1,430 degrees centigrade. We pull special spring through the bottom of the furnace, through the liquid silicon out the top, and we grow a wafer continuously from the silicon. We don't have that 50% curve loss like everyone else does. So we use about half the silicon that the rest of the industry uses to make a wafer. Most recently, we've developed a four ribbon process instead of a two ribbon. And so in our four ribbon process, we get much more economies in the furnace, and we also cut the ribbon to the right length with an automatic YAG laser system. And that is going to substantially reduce labor and substantially increase factory yields, which means costs come down a lot. Sure, we've got this joint venture called EverQ in Germany. We're now building our first factories of commercial scale in the United States. And after we finish uh, this expansion that we have undergoing in uh, Devons, Massachusetts, we're looking at other places of the world to expand into. You know, we believe that you need to be, you need to manufacture products where you have major markets. There are major markets in Germany, there are major markets developed in the U.S., and we believe there will be major markets also in Asia. So we'd like to have factories in all three major regions of the world, both for market serving as well as we get different cost advantages in different markets. We have this small pilot facility in Marlboro that produces about 15 to 16 megawatts of output. This Devon's operation that we have underway, um, the first phase will produce 80 at capacity and the second phase another 80. So Devon's will be 160 run rate by the middle of next year. This year we expect to get 10 or 12 megawatts out of Devon's, 15 out of our facility in Marlboro, so about 25 or so this year. 2009 will be a real pivotal turning point for our company. With the Devons One operation at capacity by the end of this year, we'll become a profitable company in early 2009. As Devons Two, the expansion comes on stream, will become, we think, nicely profitable, and we hope not to look back. We have more expansions planned after that. We have silicon lined up, so we can grow our business to about 850 megawatts by 2012. And so we, we have a lot of good things planned for the next couple of years.